what's up welcome to my first ever YouTube video I'm gonna give you guys a quick background since everyone here is new to my channel my name is Caitlin I am a hairstylist so if you guys have any questions today don't be scared to leave them in the comment section below I will definitely get back to you guys um, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to use clip-in extensions on short hair if you are interested in this look then continue to watch Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get started. Today I'm going to be using my Bellamy Khaleesi Hair Extensions. This is the 20 inch 280 gram set. It comes with 7 wefts. It also comes with this little cool hair band. I never use it, but you know, it's pretty cool. And then it also comes with this little carrying case, which is nice for vacation. Um, and this little hanger. Now this hanger is a game changer. I actually use this to go ahead and pop my extensions in here and I will hang it on a doorknob and I will curl my extensions. The reason why I curl my extensions and my hair separately is because I feel like when you curl them together you have to hold them on a little bit longer because it's more hair and I feel like it really dries out your hair. So I usually curl them separately also to give the extensions a little bit of a tighter curl. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started. Where I would start your first section off is probably like the bottom of your earlobe. Depending on how short your hair is, if it's a little bit shorter, you might even want to start about mid-ear. But just because mine is a little bit, it's kind of in between short and medium length, I'm going to go ahead and start right at the top of my earlobe. When I used to have shorter hair, my hair was a pixie and it's been growing out. Um, but when my hair was a little bit shorter, that is what I used to do. I would just take the section a little bit bigger on this bottom part. I've always followed the same steps, even when I had long hair. Um, just because I noticed they, this, these steps really have worked out well for me. So you're going to go ahead and throw that bottom section into a quick little messy bun. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you definitely want to make sure that it's down packed to the back of your head. If you don't put in enough bobby pins for this, it'll kind of come undone and you'll feel a bump at the base of your neck uh, where your extensions start and it's just, it doesn't feel right. I don't know how to explain it, but you'll know if it happens to you. So you want to make sure that the bun is down packed as tight as possible. I'm going to go ahead and flip around. These next three sections are exactly the same, but the top two sections are a little bit different. So I'll show you guys this first section and then the top two sections. Alright, so this is the bun. You're going to want to make sure it's pretty tight down. I think I have it pretty tight. Um, and now we're going to go ahead and clip in the first section. This is a two clipped weft. I kind of want to go ahead and show you guys. I do label my extensions because I do cut them before I put them in my head. They were originally 20 inches. Um, now I say they're about 18 and layered. You want to make sure that you layer your hair when you have short, I mean your layer hair extensions when you have short hair uh, because you really, really want them to blend as best as possible. Okay guys? So I'm going to go ahead and turn around and show you guys this one piece. Kind of wiggle it around there, clip it right in. There we go. The reason why you guys want to do this, even if you have a little bit longer hair, is because the bottom section of your hair underneath the extensions is going to look like you have layers on the bottom of your hair or underneath your hair, and that's not usually where layers go. They go on the top of your hair, so I'd really recommend doing this step if your hair is shorter than your extensions in general. Um, if your hair is the same length, you don't really have to worry about it, but if it is shorter at all, I would definitely do this step. So the next step you're going to go ahead and take at the middle of your ear. And this next piece is going to be a three clip extension. I usually put all my smaller clips at the bottom of my head and all of the bigger clips at the top of my head. And the reason why I do that is I feel like it gives it more seamless finish when you're done. Alright, this is my second. It is a three clip and it's just another straight across part in the back. And this last bottom section is going to go at the top of your ear. Perfect. Alright guys, 
This is another three clipped weft. And I don't tease my hair, I just dry shampoo it before I put it in. Um, I noticed that these clips with the rubber bands that they have on, it really helps hold them in so I don't feel like I have to tease them. Alright, if you have shorter, shorter hair, um, I would definitely recommend teasing. It depends on how short. I would say from your shoulders above, I would recommend teasing just because it slides a little bit more. Um, shoulders below, even though mine's only a little bit further below, um, I would say that you, depending on your extensions, if they have the little rubber band underneath, you're probably safer off than if they don't. Alright, so this next piece is going to go at your temples. And on this piece, you're going to U down, and I'm going to show you guys in the back. But you're going to U down so that way you make sure that this extension doesn't go above the round of your crown. And the reason why you want to do that is at the round of your crown, your hair tends to split a lot more. And so you don't want, you know, the wind to blow or your hair, ooh, that's cute. You don't want the wind to blow or your hair to split and to be able to see um, the extension whatsoever. All right, so as you can see, it kind of goes from here and it U's down to the back and I'm going to do the same thing with the top section. I'll probably show you guys this again just because it's a little bit different than just the straight across part. All right, so this next section, I mean this next section, yeah, is a four clipped weft um, and since we're getting around the hairline, I'm going to go ahead and sh show you guys. I make sure that I stay an inch above my ear as well as an inch behind the hairline and the reason why I do that is I really don't, I push my hair back a lot and you really don't want to see extension in the front. I know a lot of people with shorter hair will tend to clip their extensions closer to the front of their hair just to hide shorter baby hairs. Um, I'd rather blend in or attempt to blend in shorter hairs more and take a little bit longer of a time than clip this extension right here and always be worried about someone seeing that. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and clip this one in. I do kind of twist them. I see a lot of people do that in videos, um, but I do kind of twist them, especially around my hairline, just because I notice that hair is a little bit finer than the rest of my hair. Now this next one is a two clip and the reason why I do that is because they meet perfectly in the back and it's just one nice seamless uh, weft. And I'll show you guys that when I'm done clipping this one in. There we go. Alright. So as you guys can see it just goes straight across which really helps for blending. Alright, so this very last one is going to go right above your temples, so right here. And you're going to U down again. And I would say you're probably a quarter an inch off your last extensions, maybe less, um, but that is okay. And the reason, another reason, I didn't tell you guys this, I'm sorry. <laughs> so the reason why I do this is so that way you can get the extensions higher up, up here and lower down back here because with shorter hair um, it tends to look a little bit more mullety in the, mullety in the back um, and I feel like the reason why is there's not enough of a difference in the extension length from front to back so I really like to make sure with it going diagonal I feel like it covers up a lot more short hairs especially when it's layered. Alright so this is another four clip weft and I'm going to go ahead and place this right here. I'm going to show you guys the back one second. I'm going to, these two are going to overlap because they're the biggest left so I'm going to show you guys what to do once they overlap. Alright, so this is a three clip left. I'm going to put it right here. Alright, now in the back these two are going to overlap. Anytime you have extensions overlapping, I would not recommend clipping this piece up because I feel like you're going to see it once you let your hair down or on top because then there's going to be a bump in the back of your head. I'd recommend lifting this piece up, tucking this one under, 
and then clipping this piece over. And that just kind of gives you a straighter line across the back of your head. All right, now that we're done, we're gonna go ahead and let that piece down. Oh gosh, there we are. All right, now with this section, I would go ahead and take a brush and just brush the mid shaft of your hair. Don't brush all the way through the extensions. You don't want your extensions to drop the curl, um, but you do kind of want to fan your hair out so it blends in with the extensions going down. And then I usually, I, instead of brushing, I'll like, go through with my fingers and just kind of break up that curl as much as possible. Just so it's not too curly. You don't want to be like, you know, Goldilocks. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the back. Um, you guys are seeing it before I am, so I'm sure it's perfect. But if it's not, I'll go through and uh, fix any little pieces that I need to. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope that you guys really, really enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you guys have any ideas for my next video, don't be scared to comment that either. But yeah, I will see you guys this upcoming Thursday.